огне. Garrus 9. Now, extracts from Wreckers Declassified. Data log 332 by Physitron. This is the story of the Wreckers' last stand. The story of ten soldiers and a stowaway who rode into the Valley of Death. Cannon to the right of them. Cannon to the left of them. Cannon in front of them. Volleys turned. It's a story of sacrifice and betrayal and of good people dying in stupid, pointless ways. It's the story of the Decepticon who chose option two and paid for it with his sanity. Oh, don't look so surprised. You didn't expect the stunted old wretch to survive, did you? You're a maniac. And you are a little more than a distraction. At best, you're a starter for my main course. See? You talk too much. And for the Autobot, who went too far. Come here and say that. The Echitas Chamber. It's the story of a woman so terrified of being abandoned that she risked her life to avoid it. Prosector, stop! If you press that button, you won't just be killing the Impactor, you'll be killing the Wreckers too. Not true. The rest of us don't have deterrence chips in our heads. I'm speaking metaphorically. If I don't press this button, the Decepticons outside that door will break in and murder us. Literally. Iron Fist, you should know better than anyone what the Wreckers are really about. They give the other Autobots something to believe in. And it's all thanks to you. Without the Physitron and his data logs, the Wreckers there would be nothing more than a bunch of thugs with a death wish. You don't know what Impactor did. It doesn't matter what they did. What matters is that the Wreckers, Physitron Wreckers, your Wreckers, would never kill one of their own just to even the odds. You're right. We do this the old-fashioned way. We fight. No, we run. And of a second stringer, who spent his life planning the perfect death. Well, you run. I'll stay here, draw their fire, keep them busy. And only to abandon his plans in favor of simply doing what had to be done. It's not exactly Prime's fivefold maneuver, is it? More to the point, you'll be slaughtered. Yeah, well, sometimes you just gotta do the decent thing, you know? All that stuff about 15 kiloton explosions? I figure that dying to save people you care about is the most that anyone can do. I think you have your motto. No, my last words. Oh, and Verity, I owe you an apology. I realize now that even Prime gets it wrong. You humans don't need us to look after you. It's the other way around. All right, everybody. Out of the way. Good? Let's get this door open and... Right. Okay, then. Here goes. Pyro. Oh, Pyro. Don't look, Verity. The spy cam footage showed the others in the spark extraction chamber. This way. We need to stop off at the munition stores on the way. I've got an idea. Iron Fist, how, how long do you think a pyro can hold them off? Oh, I'm sure he'll put up a good fight. And at the heart of the story is someone who was lied to. Someone who wouldn't speak up. Someone who renegade on a deal. Back there, when I said it didn't matter what Impactor did, I was lying. Spill the beans. In a word, Prova. Remember the story I told you about the Wreckers? The Squadron X? I thought I knew what happened. The past. Turns out I was wrong. Don't go, they'll be on top of us in seconds. I need you here. Quit whining, kid. I'm not the one who got you in this mess. You think I wanted to get trapped? Listen, I'm gonna suggest something a little unconventional. I'm gonna shoot you. Nothing fancy, just a few rounds through your midsection. Trust me. It's the only way I can get a clear shot at Squadron X. You what? I've heard some crazy things in my time, but 
I'm serious, just leave your circuit dampeners. You won't feel a thing. What circuit dampeners? I don't have any circuit dampeners. I'm sorry, but this just got... Might save both our lives. Come on, kid. Work with me. Say the words. No! Rank and Impactor, please! No! No! System reboot. We're made score next uncomfortable inhibitor vices all around. Just to crank out the humiliation. Prowl, we got him. Crosscut, Ferric. That skump guy, Macab, all of them. I need a person ship. Where are you? Pova in the Reed and Quadrant. Then I'm afraid we have a problem. Pova was granted exemption status under Article 6 of the Neutrality Agreement. We have with the Povians, it's off limits. You'll have to let them go. Over my dead body. This is non negotiable. Release them now, and we may be able to stop the Decepticons using this to turn the Povians against us. Prowl out. Gone. The Impactor, wait. No! Karas 9. And so, the end game was played out under a heartless sky, with the mighty wreckers falling one by one. Maybe some of them welcomed it. You think this is it, Overlord? You think you've won? My records are the best. They'll have freed the Autobot prisoners by now, and all of them will be heading this way, ready to feed you your fuselage. I doubt that very much. You see, shortly after I heard your records were on my patch, I gave a simple order. Kill. Every. Prisoner. But even then, among friction cadavers, and the hum of shattered circuitry, among the fields of failed and fading sparks, even then, something stirred. <laughs> Hope. Springer! Catch! Sweet. Wreck and roll! You spot a glitch! That is enough! Sweet! And you can keep out of this, you gun fun, you bad stat. The records were split, smashed. Squashed, slashed, shot, until all had become just one. As for you, all that catch business, I'm gonna eviscerate you, oh yes, I'm gonna turn you inside out and scrape you clean. Don't come any closer, I'm warning you! You're warning me? Think, don't you feel any different? No internal injuries? Why not try scanning for foreign bodies? See, Springer wasn't shooting you, he was injecting you. Which means that right now, right this second, thousands of the turns chips are laying down roots in your endoskeleton. So, 
You know means of detonating them. Wrong. I've got the whole of Aikitas in my head, including the trigger codes. And now I've worked out how to hone the signal and lock on a specific target. All I need to do is give a nod and... BAM! Ah, my head! Iron Fist, not you too, not you too! You, my little one, should worry more about yourself. Look at your brittle bones and ligaments and red, red ventricles. So sticky soft and bendable. I wonder what sound you'll make when I pop your seams. Pow, we all owe you. And you're still talking too much. One way or another, you kill a lot of my friends today. It's been a long time coming, but this is where you get yours. Finish him off, Impactor. Kill him. Fight back, damn you. Fight back. No? Then at least look at me. I want you to see this coming. Go on, then. Do it. Have your fun. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for Springer. Twenty years ago, as I was being dragged to my cell, he said something to me, something I didn't want to hear. They deserve to die, Impactor, but that didn't give you the right to kill them. You've killed Springer and you deserve to die, but he wouldn't have wanted that. So you're gonna stand trial, just like I did, and you're gonna go down, because like me, you're as guilty as hell. Stay here while I raid you for pickup. Don't worry about Overlord. I've disabled his neural cluster. He's not going anywhere. What about the other Decepticons? They're not interested in us. Not anymore. We'll get off this rock before you can say post-traumatic stress disorder. This has been a story about the Wreckers, and impossible odds, and weird brain bullets. Oh, what did I miss? And survivors. I'll tell you on the way home. I gather not everyone made it back. Topspin, Twin Twist, Rotorstorm, and Pyro died in G9, and Springer? Springer's dead? Not quite. He's on life support. Him and Fort Max. Ratchet's doing what he can. As for Impactor, I pardoned him, as agreed, but once Overlord was in my custody, he and Guzzle just took off. I see. And Iron Fist? Did you recover his body from the Ectus chamber? From the chamber? Iron Fist died en route to Earth. He suffered a mechanical aneurysm. A prototype cerebrocinetic bullet had been edging its way toward his brain for the last 18 months. Lab accident, we think. Guess he knew his days were numbered. And, judging by your look on your face, so did you. Iron Fist and I, we, we had an agreement. The suicide lock. I thought... I was giving him what he wanted, and before you ask, yes, of course, I regret it. I have to ask you, you were against the Akita's trials in the first place. Why did you even sanction the mission? Can you imagine if the Decepticons had beaten us to Akita's? The trial transcripts on the hard drive would have made the ultimate propaganda weapon. Most of those who gave evidence are dead now. Seems like most of us are these days. Without the transcripts, it would be impossible to see the trials through. I only hope never to see the inside of that chamber again. Autobot after Autobot, atrocity after atrocity. I listen to accounts of Morphcore harvests, civilian executions, rust injections. It nearly killed me. Chief Justice Tyrus has agreed to keep the trial secret until the last verdict has been reached. After that, it's full disclosure, but what price? A clear conscience? You tell me. There. One data's log containing everything that was on Architus Iron Fist's legacy. Nothing was corrupted during the data transfer, I take it? You need check it. I don't have the stomach for it right now.
No, no, of course not. But this is the only copy. Yes, Iron Fist didn't have time to make any more before he died. Look, I know how you think that going public with the trials will rip the Autobots apart. But it's the only way. Is it? Justice must be seen to be done. But now, when the rank and file hear about the monsters that were in their midst, it will feel like yet more betrayal. Anyway, enough chatter. Leave this with me. I'll make sure Bumblebee gets it. I hope so, Brow, because I know that you're thinking if the data on that slag did turn out to be corrupted, you could just destroy it and move on, and no one would be wiser. Perhaps I should have checked it before giving it to you. But that would have done us both a disservice. Maybe Garrus Knight marks the end of the road for the records. After all, there has to be a limit. Mission after mission, fatality after fatality, surely everything, everyone has a breaking point. It's just a question of how much pressure is applied. But maybe this isn't the end of the road. Maybe it's it's a stop off, a moment to reflect before moving on, because that's how we honor those we've lost, by looking forward, not back. You see, this is one of those stories with a moral, and the moral is simply this. Life persists.